I'm Stephanie Deaton. I am a senior at the Arthur Temple College of Forestry and Agriculture studying forest management and I just got back from Field Station. At Field Station I gained knowledge of field techniques, something they can't teach you in a three-hour lab that you have during the week, just one time a week. Whenever you have an entire span of six weeks to devote to those subjects, you can really go out and learn hands-on and that, that will be helpful forever. My favorite part of Field Station would be timber cruising. You measure trees, you're in the forest, you are there with your team, your group, you're working together. It goes more quickly as you go along, you begin to learn your role and work as a team. I'm Carter Hudspeth and I'm a senior in urban forestry. The third day of GIS week we learned how to use a staff compass, Garmin GPS units, and laser range finders to determine the boundary of a loblolly pine stand. Using the data we collected, we were able to determine the acreage on graph paper. We then compared the, the acreage that we found to the actual acreage collected by the Garmin GPS unit. We must have been pretty good at using the staff compass and laser range finder because each group wasn't far off. Wildlife week was an incredible week. It was a lot of hands-on activities and setting up mist nets and everything was, was out in the field looking at, at wildlife and capturing wildlife and IDing wildlife and helped really solidify the education that I've already had. One of my favorite mill tours during timber harvesting and processing week was the Midwest Vaco paper mill. The paper mill uses pine chips, hardwood chips, pine pulpwood, hardwood pulpwood, and bark fuel in the paper making process. One thing that I thought was incredible is how the paper mill didn't waste any of the tree. In order to keep from wasting material, leftover bark was recovered and used as a burned energy source to run the mill. The mill provides a number of products including Starbucks cups, food service packaging materials, and office products such as manila folders. Hi, this is Stephanie Deaton. I think maybe the greatest part of the High Rose course was how supportive the group was of everybody that was up there. Even people you wouldn't expect, they would cheer them on whenever they would go up the pamper pole, which is what you go up to. You jump off of it and then you have to grab a bar. And like some people would grab the bar, some people wouldn't. If people you thought never could get it, got it, and everybody cheered them on, no matter who it was up there. That was really exciting. <laughs>